Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel Sports World, where we get down and talk about everything we want to. Okay, when it's on our mind and we feel like talking. So get your wine coolers, get your wine, get your coffee, get your chips, get your tea, pour a little sugar in it, and let's have tea time with Lady D. Okay, I know y'all already wondering if y'all didn't catch my first video I did today. It was on uh, Apollo Nada. Uh, getting released from jail and then getting re-entered back into the system. Now, what kind of mess is that? What kind of Freudian mess is that going on with Apollo Dada? So, if you didn't get a chance to uh, review it, go to my channel, Del Chanel's 4 Days World, upload it, and get your lag kiki on, or just like, I'm, like me, I'm in shock. What in the W, well, what, what do you call it? H E W hockey sticks going on here. Let's get on into this story. I'm trying to break Wendy Williams. Okay, Wendy Williams. What in the Cougarville felon type of trip are you on? What's going on, Wendy? We done hooked up with a youngin making you a cougar, making you. 20 years times his junior. Okay, times your junior. We junior. I know your husband done got you upset, done did his due, made you feel bad. So you want to flip the script and go out with somebody new, younger. And you just threw a whole big wrench in the uh, situation and start dating a felon. Okay, a past convicted felon. Now, what is your son thinking about you? Right about now, Wendy, what's going on, girl? What's going on? You go from singing the blues to pulling out people from jail time and dating them. A serial mess up is what you're getting into. I mean, I was like, okay, wait a minute. What? She trying to get back at Kevin for dating a younger woman. Okay, that's what men want these days. They don't want their equal. In their own age group, they want to feel like they uh, still got it, so they want to date somebody young. Why not women? Okay, what well, floats your boat can sink a ship, but if that's what you want, go ahead and get it. All right, that's my philosophy. If you can handle it, it ain't hurt nobody. I guess do what you do, okay, because you got to face the consequences that come with those actions. All right. But I was like, wait a minute, why is Wendy Day somebody half her age and really close to her son's age? What wouldn't her son have a bad taste in his mouth about it? Like, why is mama dipping in my selective pool age group? Why is she making me look even dumber than what my dad is making me look out here? Okay. And they supposed to be the adults. Whoo, I tell you. The son of senior Kevin. Your parents got it bad. They both going through a, a, a 50 life crisis or a life crisis. They, they getting it real bad. The dad, your dad, don't said and got some young and pregnant. Now he got to take care of that child through your mama's money. Okay. Because your mother was crazy enough to make your daddy her manager. So, she can't get rid of him quick enough. And then, she don't want to talk bad about him because that's your father. So, I can see the dilemma that you must be in. Me, I would take the first trip out of the country. <laughs> I would look Tina Turner up, okay? I would just go abroad, study, travel, do whatever I had to do and let my mom and daddy handle their own demons, Okay? Make amends with their own demons. And when y'all get it together, well, I think y'all got it together with a loving environment and not this tit for tat mess going on. Then I will rejoin them. But right now, I would have to take a hiatus. I would have to get out of Dodge, get my mind in Google, and see what I want to go in my life future. Okay? That's what I would be doing. Kevin Jr. Begin back to your crazy mom. Sitting up on dating. Once again, a convicted felon, and half her age. She's trying to be the cougar. Wow. All right. The pamper, pamper. 
books in. Okay, robbing the cradle. Should I go on and on and on? I mean, how would Wendy feel if you brought one mama home with you? Talking about you finna slip and slide, dip and dab. Okay, I don't understand. She would have some kind of feelings for the negative. I'm sure she would. But don't play that card because it ain't a good look. Well, moving on. That was just my commentary. Let's go and see what the Daily Mail dot co dot uk is talking about miss winder and then miss winder sitting up him having all these anxiety attacks or what she may call them as anxiety attacks or breakdowns or whatever and just looking sloppy drunk to boot okay i'm not understanding but let's get some clarification from somebody else all right so we moving on to the daily mail their topic is saying wendy williams 54 takes new boy uh see I have been say boy, but they sing bow. <laughs> okay, boo, boo, with the same thing for uh, boy toy, okay, or companion. All right, takes new bow, Mark Tumbling, 27, out for a day of shopping as insiders claim her estranged ex-husband, Hunter Kevin, isn't jealous of new romance. And the reason I would say he ain't jealous because he know he gonna get Wendy back. Wendy ain't been moped through with her husband, Kevin, and all his philand what do you call it? Philandering ways and adulterous ways. She, she still love that man. Ain't been moped getting a divorce and the man in the moon. If y'all believe it, I got some salt twump to sell you in Mississippi. Okay? For a great price. But this article is written by Kathleen Becker for DailyMail.com. It was introduced to us on the 13th, okay, which was Thursday, 2019. All right, she goes on to write in her article, Wendy Williams is moving on with a younger man and her estranged ex-husband ex reportedly has no problem with that. Now, he ain't an ex-husband yet because ain't no papers been filed and she ain't met with no judge that signed off to say she a free woman to date whom and whatever because she's no longer married to Kevin Hunter. But, nope, she's still married to him. Okay? That's my pun intended. Not in this article. Getting back to the article, it reads, The 54-year-old host was spotted during a shopping trip with her new beau, 27-year-old Mark Tumbling on Wednesday in New York. The television personality recently revealed that she's jumped back into the dating pool following an acrimonious split from her husband of 22 years, Kevin Hunter. Okay. And then it goes and say, onward, Wendy Wilson's moving on with a much younger man was about to take her 27-year-old boat shopping on Wednesday while her ex estranged ex-husband told friends he's reportedly not jealous. I know you ain't jealous. I know you ain't because you know it ain't real, okay? Wendy just playing this tit-for-tat mess. Y'all will be back in the sheets together if y'all ain't already rumbling in them, okay? It, that was my pun, my commentary, not in this article, but jumping back. It says, sources close to Kevin told TMZ that the former executive producer for her reality show isn't jealous about Wendy's new man. I know he ain't jealous because it's a bunch of mess. Anyway, Insider said that Kevin understands why Wendy would want to go out and have some fun, but he took umbrage with some recent comments that she made insinuating that Hunter kept her cooped up. Okay? <clears throat> the source claims that from Kevin's perspective, Wendy dictated her own low profile image and wanted a hands off approach in her business. So her statement that she was cooped up only to be a show pony wasn't wasn't fair. Kevin cheated on Wendy for years and recently had a daughter with his mistress. An affair, he told sources, is being blown out of proportion, but not one he is denying. He can't deny it. Hell, everybody been on social media watching him go around New York and everywhere else he wants to take his mistress and his uh, allegedly unwed mother because she ain't finna uh, of his daughter. She ain't finna marry her. I don't know why she even got in the mix, okay? Woo. First she messing with a married man with a dollar tree. Then she said, I'm not going to have a baby, which is a bastard. I can't. A bastard child, no. Mm -mm. Woo, I tell you. The story gets deeper, y'all. But that was my commentary, not in this latest uh, article. Then it goes back to say, they, they date the mother of one is kept, wait a minute, the mother of one kept casual in a simple black cotton midi dress under a black sheer duster and white trainers. 
I don't know what Wendy out here looking like. <laughs> it looked like she just stepped out the bed with a uh, gown on, throw a, a coat, long coat on with some tennis shoes, and it still looked like her ankles are swollen. I don't know what's going on with Wendy, but she ain't right. Mm -mm. She, ain't, she ain't wrapped too tight in the head, honey. Everything is just breaking her loose. Everything from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. She need to get together. Get off TV for a while. Take her a sabbatical, a hiatus. Go into, uh, I wouldn't say go into syndication, but, you know, let somebody else host again. <laughs> Why she really gets some downtime. Because she don't know what the heck she's doing. She ain't setting no good uh, examples to her son uh, for real, though. Okay, and then it goes on to say, meanwhile, Wendy and Mark were spotted in Manhattan's trendy meatpacking district, checking out some furniture and decor for restoration hard from Restoration Hardware. The mother of Wayne kept it casual. Okay, it goes back to talk about her dress, which is not important. It, it don't look like too much anyway, but she probably paid a million dollars for it. You know, it just is what it is. People just pay for the name, not the quality or the taste of the product that they're buying. Okay. Uh, says Wendy carried her go-to printed Christian Dior tote and accessorized with big sunglasses and simple white trainers. Them tennis shoes because something wrong with her feet. Her feet are swelling. Uh, her legs are swelling and it's just looking a hot mess. She need to go sit down somewhere and get some medical attention. Seek some medical attention from the head to the rest of the body. Okay, from the head starting first to the rest of the body. All right, all the way down to the soles of her feet. Okay, uh, goes on to talk about her new bow, look trendy and distressed jeans, a graphic Gucci t-shirt, and a black chambray buttoned up. Now I'm thinking like, wait a minute, I'm just y'all here told everybody to walk out Gucci. What happened with that? Okay, nobody who listening to y'all, listening to T.I., I guess. Okay, oh, moving on, it says DailyMail.com reveal when this new man, who's 27 years her junior, is a convicted felon. He served two years in prison in 2013 for robbery with a dangerous weapon and breaking and entering in North Carolina, according to public records. All right. Mark is a fashion designer based out of Los Angeles. He is from Maryland. Uh, Mark is a fashion designer. Now, I'm like, what the hell? Mark is a fashion designer. He just oh, oh, but he a felon. Convicted of stealing stuff. Uh, okay, <laughs> he one of them sit, uh, see and grab type of designers. Uh, don't sit and design anything. He just grab it, wear it, and say it's it's you know it's me. This is what I design. This is what I put together. No, you a good picker of what looks good, but not a designer. Not in my eyes. Moving on. It says a source close to Wendy told DailyMail.com people around Wendy are concerned for her well being, especially since she is in such a vulnerable state. With the divorce, addiction, and alcoholism, and the status and the status of the show not being renewed yet. Okay, then I tell you, she needs to sit her butt down and rest her mind and build up her spirit. Okay, because it's all done toe up from the flow up. All right, a source claims that Wendy told um, DailyMail.com people around Wendy are concerned. They should be very much so. Uh, adding with this new guy, how can Wendy really trust him if she's going through so much on her own? The insider continued, the fact she's brought him to New York is also a concern. She's let him into her life and her home and people are worried he's trying to manipulate her. I'm like, nah, ain't nobody trying to manipulate Wendy. Wendy know full, full, full fledged what she's doing, okay? Yes, she do. Then it says Wendy and Mark were seen hours before their dinner date out and about in New York. The star had hinted that she was dating in an Instagram post she shared on Monday. She was snapping, holding hands with him while overlooking a pool. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. She tagged Sherman Oaks, California, and captioned her image. Last night was the most beautiful sunset in Sherman Oaks with special people. Thank you, California. You won me over. I'll be back for the hip hop festival in August. Okay. And it says, adding old enough to be your mother, very sexy, and my new life, all hashtags, okay? And April Wendy filed for divorce from Hunter after a tantamous uh, few months struggling with addiction after she relapsed in light of his affair and love child. Additionally, Wendy kicked Kevin out of the house and fired him as her manager and as executive producer of the Wendy Williams show. Okay, now again, like I said, she filed for divorce separated in April, but yet... There's really no final divorce decree signed over from a judge. So, 
I think it's all hype. I think it's just for show. And when is not leaving Kevin, she's just getting her groove on. Like they say, Stella got the groove on. She getting her groove on in Manhattan, New York, and showing everybody. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm like, give me a break, okay? Please, give me a break. Woo! I'm like, where Nail Carter at? From giving me a break. Where is Nail Carter at? When the is is just full of shenanigans these days. So I'm not believing her so-called turn up affair with this younger dude being a convicted felon of one and then let him in all of her uh, lavish lifestyles around maybe some of her friends or she may just let him be around her party friends or whatever. And then she's sitting up here looking like she's drunk and carrying on. So I'm like, girl, she's off her keel. Nothing is making sense about this. And no, when she wake up from her drink, state of partying, having a good time, I think she back in her 20s, probably early 16s. <laughs> Who knows what she's floating with this? But she's having a ball and on a very big downfall of a meltdown, if you get my drill. But I'm like, get your house in order, Wendy. Get your house in order. Okay? Order, girl. Because it's a hot mess right now. Especially with you running around him with a convicted felon, calling him, himself a designer. Your ex-husband or soon-to-be ex-husband got a mistress across the country somewhere um, living it up with her baby that she's going to get money from you for to raise, of course. And you probably still secretly trying to definitely... Stay with Kevin or trying to manage and salvage things, which is still a hot mess. Okay, girl, it's a hot mess. But that's all I have for Wendy Williams, you know, just she's acting like a cougar out here. She's dating very young. That's kind of pop seal with a 15 year old. You just never know. Never know with Wendy Williams. Okay. If he if, if she feel a 15 year old can hang and swing on her lane, she'll probably pick him up too. Okay. Because she's just out there. She's just really out there. Prayers go up to her. Oh, she get herself together. But right now, she just want Kevin. She want her old life back. And she needs to fight her addiction problems for real. Okay? But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We all need to pray for Wendy Williams because definitely she has... She, the marbles have left the building. Okay? There is no light on in the house of her head. All right? Nothing has sparked up there in a while. So, we're just going to leave it at that. Please comment. Please share and like my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you next time for something, uh, something tasty. I don't know. I might have to keep reading through my uh, log books and see. Uh, or look on my social media trends and see what is, is there something else I want to talk about. Because it's 10.35 p.m. on Friday night. And I'm living it up with you all. Okay? All right? Before I take a little Seagram's hit on my own and get more relaxed. And then it'll probably just put me out to sleep. Okay? Because that's what alcohol usually do to me. So, with all that said, whew. As you can see, I am getting a little sleepy, but I'm really not tired. I think it's just because I'm just talking a lot. But I can babble all day long, but I'm going to let you go. Check out my other videos. And if you, again, haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so at this time. Thank you and good night.